let's take a look at finding the domain of a multivariable function. So we'll say f of x, y is equal to ln, make one up here, so x squared minus y. Because we have the natural log function, we must have that x squared minus y is greater than zero. The argument that is has to be greater than zero, no equal to part. And then we just have to handle this. So one thing we can do is just write this as x squared minus y. But then move the y to the right side, so it becomes greater than y this way. Now let's figure out how to mark the boundary of this region. Since it's x squared greater than y, treat it like an equation for a second, so it becomes x, x squared equals y. And then we can mark this. So what I mean is this. I draw a coordinate system in here, okay? It doesn't have to be perfect. Now think about x squared equals y. Of course, this is a, a basic parabola, right? <laughs> parabola, not parabola. <laughs> parabola also now look at the original it says x squared is greater than y in other words we have the greater than symbol present there's no equal to part to the e symbol there so that means when you mark the parabola you have to mark it as a dashed line so that means in other words a part will kind of look like this okay and then the other part on the other side of the parabola like that but the point is you know it looks dashed okay so that part is done now we just have to decide whether the domain is the stuff above it or the stuff below and to the right and left. So the common thing to do is just, just take a point like 1 comma 0 right there from the x-axis. Remember that here x is 1 and then y is 0 and then you plug it into the equality and you're going to check. So there's 1 squared minus 0. You we're saying, we're asking, is that greater than 0? Okay, that's what we're asking. Well, this is 1 greater than 0. That's certainly true, isn't it? So this, of course, means that the region of interest is this region right here, okay? It's the region around the parabola, you know, you know, to the right, to the left, below it, all of this. I'll just shade some of it, right? but you get the picture, that's it. The last thing to do often is to represent the domain in set builder notation. So we can do that by doing the following. It's the set, so you put a curly brace of all x, comma, y, so of all points, such that, so either a vertical line or a colon. And then some logical condition. So we're going to say in this case, for example, x squared minus y is greater than zero. That's a logical condition, true or false. And then terminate with a matching curly brace. That's the set builder form of domain right there. I guess you could describe this one here kind of as like the inequality form. You can think of it as such. But that's it. So friends, please remember to like and sub.